at the time of payment itself they will cut and give that is called tax deducted at source interest on security up to 10000 note ingles above 10000 10% any payment is like above 30000 single payment or 1 lakh and above in the lump sum payment if it exceeds if you are an individual 1% tedious you are not individual it is a 2% tedious A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adasa here, lecturing with us from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are discussing the topic called your tax management two and your sixth semester unit five and session one. In this, we are discussing the topic tedious and advanced tax. Now, so what do you mean by tedious as well as advanced tax? We will discuss in today's session. So tax deducted at source. Now in today's session we'll discuss about tax deducted at source. What do you mean by tax deducted at source? Easiest topic. I'll give you a simple example so that you will understand better. Now just assume that you went to KBC. You went for KBC. Count Banega Karotpati. Now so luckily you won. How much in this? You won around 50 lakh rupees how much you want you want 50 lakh rupees so what you do with this 50 lakh rupees very simple so whatever your expenses your plans are there you will fulfill that but how much you will get out of 50 lakh will you get complete 50 lakh in this answer is no even though you got 50 lakh you may get you may get 33 lakh or 34 lakh. What is your winning price? 50 lakh. But how much in hand you will get? You will get only 33 to 34 lakh. What about the balance 15 lakh or 16 lakh? Your winning is 50 lakh, but you got only 33 to 34 lakh. What about the, what about the balance value? The answer is very simple. What about the balance 15, 16 lakh? we are supposed to pay tax we need to go to income tax office and have to pay no while paying this 50 lakh they will deduct 16 lakh and give the balance money so tax this is what 15 to 16 lakh we call it as tax deducted see from 50 lakh they have deducted 16 lakh at source at the time of giving only they will deduct that is called as tax deducted at source at source means on time at the time of payment itself they will cut and give that is called tax deducted at source at source means whenever you are supposed to receive that time only they will cut that is called tax deducted at source what is the difference between this one and normal tax? Very simple. Normal tax is very simple. Collect, later you pay. But in this what happens? In this what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to pay tax there itself. Hope you are clear. You are supposed to pay tax there itself. They will not give you time. Collect your money and pay later. They will not do that. What they will do? They will deduct your tax and give your balance money hope you are clear yes this is all we call it as tax deducted at source now so you understood what is tax deducted at source in this what we are supposed to do we are supposed to remember the percentage there are many percentages are there almost 10 to 12 percentages are there you are supposed to remember that once if you remember those percentage the topic is dead easy you will understand better so tedious rate and exemption these are the rates you have and remember the sections are not important so don't remember the sections only are supposed to remember the name of the heading as well as the percentage as well as exemption these are the things you are supposed to remember now the first one serial number one in this we are discussing called salary 
If they ask you about to calculate TDS on salary, what is the limit? Simple. Section we call it as 192. There is no exemption, but average rate that is total income divided by 12. Very simple. Your whole year tax is 12,000. Then how much you have to pay TDS? 12,000 divided by 12 months. You are supposed to pay TDS of 1000 rupees per month. We'll do problems on that. You will understand better how to do TDS on salary. Now, so they will not ask you TDS on salary. I'll show you what kind of problems you will get. Now, second one. Premature withdrawal from employee provident fund. If there is any provident fund, 10% if SSC does not furnish PAN. So if there is a PAN card, then 10%. If there is no PAN card, then it will be 20%. Remember, for 5 mark or 10 mark, they may ask you theory also. Write any 10 items which comes under TDS. What you are supposed to do? Salary, uh, average. Premature withdrawal from employee provident fund. What you are supposed to do? Like 10% if SEC doesn't furnish PAN. Or 20% if it doesn't permit PAN, 20%. If it given PAN number, then it will be 10%. Hope you are clear. Yes. Later, next one. Interest on security. Up to 10,000, no tedious. Above 10,000, 10% tedious. See. Even your PF also up to 50,000, no TDS. Above 50,000, you are supposed to calculate 10. If there is no PAN, 20. Now, after that, dividend received other than listed company, up to 2,500, no TDS. Above 2,500, 10%. This much only you are supposed to remember. These sections are not required. How many of this we learned? Four things we learned. What is the first one? Salary, it is on the base of average, no limit. Second one, PF withdrawal, above 50,000, it is 10% with PAN, 20% without, without PAN. What is the third one? Third one is your dividend. So interest on security, after the dividend, interest on security up to 10,000, no limit, and above 10,000, it is 10%. And your dividend, of unlisted company other than listed. So what is the calculation? Up to 2,500, no dividend, uh, no tax, tedious, above 2,500, it is 10% tedious. Hope you are clear. Yes, we learned four things. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We will learn five more, which are those like interest on bank deposit and post office. So remember, interest on bank deposit and post office. Limit is 10,000, percentage is 10%. Clear? Yes. Interest on security in registered form. Interest on security in the registered. Limit is 5,000, percentage is 10. Most of the calculations are 10% only. Remember. Next. Winning from lottery puzzle game. You know already. Limit is 10,000, percentage is 30%. Then, winning from horse race. Limit is 10,000, percentage is 30%. Then, payment to contractor. Like, if the lump sum payment 30%, no tedious, like amount exceeds 1% for individual, 2% for others. Remember, there are two types are there. One is it is not 30%, it goes 30,000. Single payment is 30,000 and all put together is 1 lakh. If it exceeds individual 1%, others 2%. Again, I'll repeat, any payment, this you consider as 30,000. Now, any payment is like above 30,000 single payment or 1 lakh and above in the lump sum payment. If it exceeds, if you are an individual, 1% tedious. You are not individual, it is a 2% tedious. Okay, what do we call it as? Contract, subcontract. So this is nothing but subcontract. This is called as contract. Hope you are clear. Yes. Next one, insurance commission, 15,000, 5%. Payment in respect of LIC, 1 lakh. 1%. Then, 
विथड्रॉ फ्रॉम एन एस सी नेशनल सेविंग सर्टिफिकेट टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड टेन परसेंट कमीशन ऑन सेल ऑफ लॉटरी टिकेट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड फाइव परसेंट सी दिस इज नॉट विनिंग फ्रॉम लॉटरी टिकेट दिस इज कमीशन ऑन लॉटरी टिकेट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड फाइव परसेंट एनी अदर कमीशन ब्रोकरेज and 5%. Remember this. So these are very important. In the exam, they will not give you what is the limit and percentage. You are only supposed to remember. Hardly there are how many items are there? 14 items are there. You are supposed to remember all 14 for your examination purpose. Again, you have another four are there. So transfer from sale of immovable property, 50 lakh. 1%. If there is no PAN card, 20%. Then rent paid on land and building by individual, 50,000 per month, 5%. Then professional or technical fees, above 30,000, 10%. Then any compensation for acquisition of immobile property, 2,50,000. 10%. So how to learn all this? Very simple. Take a white or plain sheet. Write down everything. Yeah, whatever is there in the particular column. Later, learn all this and try to fill one by one. Try two or three times. You will be familiar with all this. And just make a category which are common for 10%, which are common with 30%. What is the limit of 10,000, 2,500? Like that bifurcate and learn it will be easy for you. So we have learned all the percentages. Please take screenshot, then I'll go to problem number one. So TDS rate and exemptions. We have salary, withdrawal of PF, interest on security, dividend, Interest on bank deposit, interest on security of registered firm, winning from lottery, winning from horse race, payment to contractor, insurance commission, payment in respect of LIC, withdrawal from national savings certificate, commission on sale of lottery ticket, any other commission or brokerage, transfer of immobile property, rent paid, Professional or technical fees, any compensation, yes. So these are the calculations we have done so far and we'll go for problem number one. How your questions will be in your examination. Now, in your exam, you will get questions like this. From the following details of income, compute tedious amount for each transaction. You are supposed to find out our compute tedious calculation. Now, how do you calculate all this? Very simple, like winning from lottery, we have a limit, it is exceeded, yes. So we are supposed to pay tedious. Next, dividend from listed company, 50,000 exceeded, remember? So we'll go one by one while discussing the answer. Sanju agent LIC earn commission of 20,000. See it is above, your limit is what? 15,000, above 15,000, TDS will come. Now, rent paid for building 48,000 per month. Remember, rent paid for building exceeds 50,000, then only TDS. Below 50,000, no TDS. Then, after this, LIC amount paid to the policy order by company on maturity of 4 lakh. So LIC amount also I have given. Interest on bank deposit, 20,000, above 10,000, TDS. Withdraw from premature employee provident fund, 53. Up to 50, no TDS. Above 50, you are supposed to do TDS. Winning from horse race, 8,000. Compensation for acquisition of land, see. Up to 2 lakh 50, you have limit, but it is exceeded 2 lakh 50. So it is taxable. Payment of an individual contractor, total payment is 1,50,000. Remember, individual means 1%. Limit is what? 1 lakh, but it exceeded 1 lakh. So you are supposed to calculate 1% TDS. Hope you are clear. Very simple. Whatever we discussed in the table, same thing there in the question. Remember the table and work out the answer. I'll show you the answer. See, one by one, winning from lottery. 
this column is not required in exam also they will not ask you simply i have given now income is how much 1 lakh what is the rate of tds 10% 1 lakh into 10% 10000 hope you are clear yes dividend from listed company amount is how much 50000 and rate zero why because it is 50 and it is exempt Commission from LIC, 20,000, 5%, 1,000, because it exceeded 5,000. Now, rent paid for building, 48, it is limit. Limit is 50,000, so it is below the limit, so there is no TDS. Similarly, rent paid is over, LIC amount paid, LIC amount paid 4 lakh into 1%, it is 4,000. Interest on bank deposit, 20,000, above the limit, you see the? Whatever the table I have given, check the table. It is above the limit, so we are supposed to calculate TDS. 10%, it is 2000. Withdraw from PF amount. Now, 53, above 50,000, yes. 20% and 10,600. Why? Because they have not mentioned PAN number. That's why we are calculating 20%. Then, winning from horse race. 8,000, it is below 10,000, yes, so there is no TDS, then your compulsory acquisition, compensation for land acquisition, 2,60,000, what was the limit, up to 2,50,000, no TDS, but here how much you have, 2,60,000 above, so you are supposed to calculate TDS. And the last one, payment to contractor, as I told you, up to 1 lakh of lump sum payment is exempted. So do we have 1 lakh here? No. How much we have? More than 1 lakh. Then what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to calculate TDS. 1 lakh 50 into 1%, you are supposed to calculate 1500. Hope you are clear. Yes, this much only your answer. Easy or very easy. Very easy it is. So I'll go back to your previous slide. You can take screenshot. So this, this is your question, your solution part. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. Yes. Now, please work out at your home the same problem with solution so that you will understand better. Thank you.